John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text For I will cast out the nations before thee, and enlarge thy borders. Neither shall any man desire thy land, when thou shalt go up to appear before the Lord thy God thrice in the year. Exodus 34:24. Commentary For I will cast out the nations before thee. Who are particularly mentioned, Exodus 34 11, and therefore they need not be in any fear of them, when they should go up to the appointed place, and appear before the Lord, for to this they were not obliged, until they were come into the land of Canaan, and the inhabitants driven out before them. And enlarge thy borders, so that as they should have no enemies within them, to hinder and molest them, or discourage and deter them from attendance on the Lord at such set times, so they would be set at a great distance from them, that they should have nothing to fear from them, and should it be objected that at such times, when only women and children were left at home, and their borders were defenseless, it would be a proper opportunity for their enemies to invade them, it is further promised. Neither shall any man desire thy land, though it is a desirable land, and their neighbors, and especially the old inhabitants of it, envied the happiness of the Israelites, and could not but wish it was in their possession, yet God, who has the hearts of all men in his hands, and can direct their thoughts, and turn the inclinations of their minds, and influence their affections, and engage them with other objects, promises that they should not think of an invasion of them, or have their minds and the desires and affections of their hearts, in the least turned that way at these seasons, whatever they might have at other times, even when thou shalt go up to appear before the Lord thy God thrice in a year, at the feast before mentioned, which was a most wonderful display of the power and providence of God.